All right, everyone, and welcome back to part five of the advanced all monster token speedrun tutorial for Scooby Doo Night of 100 Frights. And if you haven't caught part one, two, three, or four, you should probably watch those before you watch this one. Otherwise, some of the things I say to you uh, will not make sense. Uh, we're probably going to go through all of the shipwreck levels and then maybe fishy depending on how uh long or short these take we'll, we'll see there's there's a lot of different stuff coming up uh from the beginner tutorial so this is probably the most different video that you will see in terms of this whole thing but without further ado let's just get going uh we're just going to initiate our jump from this fan because it gives us the height required to basically just float over here without the use of anything and then we're going to make our way into rack one which is uh, guess what the first optimization we're going to do so i'm just going to just show the trick to you first and then we will discuss it after and then we're in Eric 2. that's it right that's all you need i don't need to explain it right <laughs> okay so what we do is hold up into the upright notch and then we're going to kind of go in between the upright notch and the up notch as we go onto that fish and super smash him and then it is important that um, I'll just discuss that actually part by part. So again, upright in between the notches, bounce off that fish. And then we basically jump up and onto this invisible wall extending upwards. And then we want to jump off the wall immediately and then float. And the reason that we want to float is that if we don't float there, uh, we actually just get caught by another invisible wall. And then we could just get pushed back and we can't make it all the way through, right? Even if we do a very extended double jump, we can't make it, right? So we just need to double jump and float uh, over uh, both the invisible walls there. And then basically just drop down and then we're going to float out and around here. And then we're landing on see if I can get a better camera angle. We're basically landing on this uh, edge here underneath the boat and we're kind of angling ourselves so that we're we're kind of angling in, in between the up notch and the upright notch or into the upright notch anywhere around there because basically we want Scooby's head to face kind of like inwards here. So like we want him to be curved like this so that we land on this edge and then we jump out and back on top of this uh, boat. So I'll try to show this to you again. Let me just unpause again, upright notch, switch in between the notches, jump up and over, float, and then you can see, and then basically almost like direct up. And then basically when you jump out and back, you're basically just going to want to dash upright notch in between the upright and the right notch, and then basically just, um, curve it down until you see the text prompt and then you get here and then you can just exit. So I'll show it in sequence yet again. So again, jumping up and way over those invisible death planes out here. We're kind of going, yeah, we're going in between the, the up notch and the upright notch when we land on the, uh, when we land on, on, on underneath the uh, the ship, um, kind of leaning more towards just direct up, but I kind of like to, to flick into the upright notch and then flick back. There's a lot of flicking happening here. Uh, it's pretty it's a pretty difficult thing to do. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and oh, uh, an important thing to note is that if you actually don't go in between the upright and the up notch here and you try to do this uh, you're not going to get the height required and then you're just going to be completely screwed because there is no backup for this and basically if you miss this and you don't get uh, high enough over um you basically just can't get over there i keep accidentally hitting it oh all right i'm gonna miss it this time i swear but yeah and then you can kind of you can maybe get over that. That's a very, very tight. So you, there technically is a backup for that. But if this is too hard for you, uh, you can basically just do the old way where we just uh, float without the use of that fish. And then we just, just jump up like this. And then we go through the trick as per usual. I'm still doing the second half of the trick. But there's an alternate if you can't get this uh, fish bounce. But again, just upright notch and then... Basically, after you initiate the second jump, you want to go in between the up notch and the 
uh, yeah, the up notch and the upright notch. And then basically just float out and around this boat and then just B dash and then make your way into wreck two. Uh, wreck two, we're just gonna double jump, make sure we hit that snack box and uh, ground pound here. Um, and then from here, we're just going to uh, go in a straight line across this level. We're gonna do the same thing in a beginner tutorial, except much faster. We're basically just wasting no jumps here. And then we're just going to float over here and then super smash on the boat like that. Um, again, you can slow this down if you need to, you know, if you need to uh, line up your jumps a bit better here. For this first one, we're basically just going directly into the up left notch, I believe. Let me just do it again. Let me just pay attention. Okay, no, so for, for both of them, I go in between, so for both of these jumps, I go in between the up left and the up notch. Uh, for, for both of these jumps uh, uh, to skip these buttons in the back here. But again, I'll just try to show it in sequence and basically we're just going to jump over here. Uh, just be sure to jump at the apex of your jump here and initiate the super smash at the apex of your second jump. And then you can basically just float across here and then super smash uh, into the cutscene. Okay. And then basically just make your way on out it's a bit difficult, but just try to go as fast as possible. All right, so in Rec 3, we're basically just going to go over here, hold in between the down right notch and the down notch, and basically just scale your way up here until you get here. And then from here, we're going to kind of do a jump and try to get on uh, this ledge blind, ideally. Kind of beefing it right now. Hold on. Okay, well, you, you can get on this ledge blind. Um, this is something I've just now implemented into my runs, so it's not like the most uh, fleshed out thing in the world. There we go. And then you can basically just jump up like that. It's, it's a bit hard to do that, uh, though. So let's, let's just show the, uh, the other way, which is uh, pretty much just as fast, just like, Without that, you basically just jump on here and then get the camera shift and then do the same jumps and then jump up here, double jump off this wall and get the token and then basically go here, double jump um, and then try to jump off that because if you're able to jump off that, then you can basically just go here really quickly. But let's uh, show this uh, again. Oh, let's sh show this again, but without dying. Raffle. Again, in between the down right not in, be in between the down right and the down notch here. And basically just jumping up here. Get your camera shift. Do a little out and back action there. Uh, and then ideally this guy won't be in your way, but you can uh, super smash off him to get up here or you can just uh, float onto the sledge and then jump up. Get that token and then basically just jump uh, out into the down right notch and then switch to the direct left notch and try to jump uh, up and over. And then basically, if you don't get the uh, the jumpy ledge, you're gonna have to spam A and just keep activating the umbrella so that you clip through uh, the uh, invisible walls. And then if you don't make it all the way up, you can just do one of these like that. Let me just try to show it in sequence so that you just see all the cycles and what you're going to be looking for. Oh my god. Okay, this is a slightly slower cycle, but you get the point. Again, try to try to find the ledge there. If not, you're just going to have to pump the umbrella until you get to the end of uh, Rex 3. And then from here, we're going to go into a, a gas one where we're going to make a... Uh, where we're just going to fly through this level in the fastest manner possible. And so how we're going to do that we're going to save here and we're basically you're just basically going to try to copy my movement uh, through this level. We're going to jump up here until we hit these first two snacks and then we're going to grab pound off of that guy, get the momentum from the side of the boat there. And then uh, there is a momentum there. There's another place where you can shoot from momentum on the tip of that boat. But you're basically going to float from there to that. Uh, and you're basically going <laughs> to 
uh, super smash off that witch onto the boat and then onto the crab onto the witch and then jump off this crab up here and then jump off the side here get the momentum shift and then whoop and then that's a gas one okay <laughs> let's try to explain that more i just wanted to show it uh first uh but here so we're basically just pulling direct up here super smash off this guy and then you can uh basically these guys are like slopes and basically if you just jump off of them like that you basically just get your momentum just we just basically fly with your momentum because they want to push you off it's the same momentum that you're getting if you go down but you can basically just go off the side of the boat and uh get that momentum like that let's kill this uh witch for posterity but again just whoop and then basically jump up here and then there is um there is a momentum uh fly thing that you can do from the tip of this boat i just don't know how to do it uh it's pretty hard to do um uh, i've been trying to figure it out okay i i don't know how to do it and i can't show it but essentially there is a momentum that you can basically get a bit more forward uh and then you can basically just make your way through the level as usual so i'm going to try to show it in sequence uh one more time I'm just gonna float over here again collect two snacks like this super smash into the crab use momentum shift like that and then basically just jump from that and then you're gonna float straight to the switch super smash on here jump off this super smash on the crab jump off of him super smash onto the witch and then go over and float across this level and then you're basically just going to jump up drop on the crab ideally and then bounce off of him and then whoop and then switch off to the side and then go to a gas too um there's not too much of explaining there to do it's just kind of move scooby in the right way forehead um it, that's just a lot of just movement fundamentals just put to the test and just like really just jamming that cycle as fast as possible but uh, it gets a bit easier after that because of gas two, we're just going to jump up to the top here and then we're just going to go for a frame perfect on this button here. Um, and then again, just collecting these, super smashing off the witch and up here to the token. And then as soon as you collect the token, you want to pause storage. Um, but uh, if you didn't catch it before, uh, here's a backup for the witch. If you kill her and don't get it up, you can jump up like that. Um, and then you can also jump uh, on this wall and jump up here. Um, I find that one to be very inconsistent, so I just recommend doing this. Uh, jumping on this side if you don't get the Super Smash off the Witch. But let's show a Gas 2 in sequence. Again, just kind of moving on through here. Jumping up this whole way. Frame perfecting this button here. Oh, I didn't get it, but in theory you want to get the frame perfect there. And then super smash off the whiff, super smash up here. And then uh, you can do the same thing where we pause uh, before we collect the token. And then we should slide into the token here. Uh, but we're going to initiate a pause storage. You can do it after you collect the token if you want to be safe. But again, uh, another pause storage. And then we're going to go to shock two. And then basically you start here. And I just like to go up to right two. Really easy uh, pause storage. You don't need to go into the quick game menu. And then you can basically do that. You heard that I got the... Uh, token and then we make our way into shock two all right so that is the end of part five uh for for this tutorial uh part six will cover fishy and into mastermind be sure to like and subscribe